Allah we are in the legislative process. Aya akuri to Allah. Kado onde ya da gode ka kujira te please. Let's maintain order. My colleagues, the honorable member. We are in receipt of an urgent guest who is the His Excellency, the first citizen of Zampara State. The governor of Zampara State, Dr. Dauda Alawa. You are welcome, sir.
the blow is for the Let me call on the horrible Bashar Ali Ugumi to lead us with an open prayer, please. My colleague, do you have members? It is the wish of Joseph Honorable House to allow His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Zampara State, to present it. Those in support say aye, those against say nay. The eyes have it. Your Excellency, the Father of Zampara State, the floor is now open for you. You have the floor. The Honorable Speaker, Zamfar State House of Assembly, Honorable Members of Zamfar State House of Assembly, Clerk of the State Assembly, Invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. I begin in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. It is with great honor and privilege that I address you today in this hallowed chamber on the occasion of my administration maiden budget presentation. I would like to start by extending my gratitude to the kind members of the State House of Assembly for their diligent consideration and subsequent passage of the 2023 supplementary appropriation bills. Your prompt and decisive action reflect the harmonious collaboration between the executive and legislative branches, a cornerstone for a flourishing of our state and its citizens. As we present the 2023 budget today, it marks the beginning of a crucial journey toward enhancing the growth and prosperity of Zamfara State. Despite the global economic difficulties of the year 2023, 
which profoundly affected Nigeria and in turn Zamfar State. Our resolve remained unshaken. My tenure in office began under challenging circumstances characterized by the dual threat of banditry and economic distress. We inherited a state based with problems, including a legacy of a dysfunctional system. However, our administration has been proactive in implementing a fire reaching reforms. We have put in place a legal framework aimed at promoting efficient, accountable, and sustainable governance. The 2024 budget aptly tagged the rescue budget. Has been meticulously designed with a keen focus on precision and foresight. This budget takes into account the set of affairs in our states and makes elaborate provision to address the other needs of our dear states. Through a rigorous process, allocation of various sectors of our economy have been made after careful consideration by our executive estimate committee and entire executive council in conformity with the strategic objective and priorities of my administration. The rescue budget, therefore, is not just a financial plan. It is a blueprint for building a new zone for states designed to navigate us through challenging times and pave the way for a more prosperous future. This budget is a reflection of people's opinion from the grassroots. Before coming up with this proposal, town hall meetings were conducted across the Emirate Council of the state in order to receive input from the people and the entire populace. Our intention is to ensure that our policies align with the yearning of the public. As we reflect on the national economic outlook, the first half year of 2023 came with formidable challenges. We grappled with a myriad of problems hampering the effective performance of non oil revenue streams, high crude oil prices, and its attendant impact on the petroleum subsidies. These issues led to the inflationary pressure, depleted foreign exchange reserve, increased external debt, and slackened GDP growth, thereby exacerbating fiscal instability and economic slowdown. Consequently, we witnessed food scarcity, a rise in the level of unemployment, and heightened poverty levels across the country. The federal government decisive reforms, particularly in removing the fuel subsidies and revising the exchange rate framework, have been instrumental in stabilizing the macro environment and mitigating the impact of these challenges on the country. The insertion matters of uh, our administration has signaled a transformative shift for Zamfar State. Within the past seven months, our administration has accomplished noble achievements in fighting insecurity, infrastructure development, investing in human capital, and concerted effort towards reforming the public service. It is not our statement to say that Zamfara State is undergoing a comprehensive transformation across various economic reforms. To further this achievement, we are committed to maintaining due process, transparency, and accountability, especially in financial dealings. 
We are committed to fostering collaboration with development partners and the private sector to spur economic growth in our state. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, the 2023 budget is strategically crafted to focus on six key factors of priority. Security, education, agriculture, economic growth, health and infrastructures. These are my vital in preparing the state towards enduring development. In the few months since we assumed office, our administration has introduced new policies aimed at enhancing public service. The economy and the security of our communities. We initiated the infrastructure, the restructuring of government, ministries, departments, and agencies to create a manageable and functional government structures aligning with global best practice and supported by appropriate legal framework. In the other security, we have commenced recruiting of 4,700 community protection guards across the state. The first part of 2,645 guards currently undergoing training. This initiative, which is part of our community engagement strategy, aims to address the limitation of our conventional security agencies and provide job opportunities while enhancing our crime fighting capabilities. To ensure the sustainability and affordability of new security architecture, we establish the State Security Trust Fund, managed by Board of Trustees, composed of retired senior security officers and reputable community members. This fund will support both new security outfits and conventional security agencies. In the era of social protection and inclusion, we have renovated and revitalized our rehabilitation centers. We have also reconstructed the orphanage, underlining our commitment towards creating a conducive environment for every citizen to live a meaningful life, regardless of their health or social conditions. In our public service reform agenda, we have constituted a public and civil reform committee and the public finance management committee comprising experienced public office holders and technocrats. These committees are tasked with among others, identifying gaps within the MDAs, recommending recruitment opportunities, and formulating strategies for transparent and accountable governance. Review of the 2023 budget. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, you are aware that the 2023 budget was prepared and presented before the House of the previous administration. The sum of 188 billion, 522 million, 227,000 was presented as the total estimate for the year, and it was based on projected recurrent revenues and capital receipt of 98 billion. 976 million, 227,000, and 84 billion, 546 million, respectively. The corresponding recurrent and capital expenditure formation were 91 billion, 32 million, 207 million and 92 billion 490 20 million respectively 
Shortly after the assumption of office by our administration in the 2023 budget was reviewed in order to reflect the prevailing and fiscal reality as well as economic and administrative reforms embarked upon by the government. The revised 2023 budget had a projected revenue estimate of 189 billion 600 million, which was made up of 122 billion 100 million and 67 billion 400 million as current and capital revenue, respectively. This was equally broken down into 94 billion, 900 million, and 94 billion, 700 million as recurrent and capital expenditure. The review has definitely set the ball rolling for actualizing identified priority areas for the rescue of Zamfara State. By the end of that quarter of the year under review, precisely the end of September, the implementation of 2023 budget recorded modest achievement considering downtown of economic activities in the country. On the overall performance, the total of 78 billion 249 million 915, 758,000 has been realized as accrued revenue, which turned at about 41.2%. Highlight of the proposed 2024 budget. Policy objectives. All existing policy measures will continue in the 2024 fiscal year. That is number one. Number two, the proposed budget of 223% higher than the revised budget of the current year. Number three, the proposed budget is consistent within the strategic plan and our long-term vision. Number four, it gives emphasis to citizen-nominated projects and some programs also considered to have a direct bearing on the yearning and aspirations of our people. Five, the proposed budget is balanced as projected revenue equals the estimated expenditure. 2024 budget proposal. Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable members, the Zamfara State proposed 2024 budget is estimated at 423 billion, 522 billion, 730. And this is broken down into 160 billion, 425 million, 64,000 naira, and 263 billion, 98 million, 666,000 as projected recurring revenue and capital receipt respectively. These revenue are based on multiple grant resources in order to make the fiscal reliable, coherent, and consistent with our medium and long-term strategic plans. Similarly, BIA has a corresponding expenditure outlay of 118 billion, 134 million, 
730,000 for the current or for the recurrent component and 305 billion 389 million for the capital component. Some major capital projects to be executed in the year 2024. Number one, construction of Malamawa to Bukwim Road, which is 17 kilometers. Number two, Bukwim to Virnin Zoma. Maradin to Makera Road, <laughs> Damri to Adibariki to Doko, to Rapingero, and Barazaki to Nasaram Mokoli, <laughs> Maradin to Magami to Faru Road, <laughs> Magami, Dangulmi, Dangulbi, Struck down Kurumi Bagega to Anka, which is 126 kilometers. Gusau to Dori to Doganka A to Nasara Mailai to Nasara Boya, which is 62 kilometers. The Harley Bridge will be constructed. Abdam at Bagega, Mogami and Galadi, Jangeru and Ansado. <laughs> Maru to Lugga Road. <laughs> Tashar Abu to Ruan Ora to Bingi. Renovation of Kas Bakura, <laughs> Endo Tendaji, Doka, Enwar Endaji, Hai Alhaji, Bedi Enkuzo Safi, <laughs> Kwatarkashi, Mada, and Busau to Ansado, <laughs> General Hospitals across the state. Education facilities across the state. <laughs> Ultra modern diagnostic center for each of the senatorial zones. <laughs> Education of the Gusau Airport project. We have made adequate provision for social intervention programs to cushion the effects of the prevailing economic hardship and insecurity. Under this, we have the microcredit disbursement to small and medium enterprise. The FADEMA program for food security and other poverty alleviation support materials. Skills acquisition program will be strengthened to provide job opportunities to our teaming populations in the state. Before I conclude, I wish to express my appreciation for the robust working relationship between the executive and the legislature, which has significantly contributed to the accomplishment of my administration. I see this opportunity to call upon you to maintain this momentum so as to enable us to continue working as a formidable team in order to salvage our dear state. 
Furthermore, I wish to extend my gratitude to the good people of San Francisco for their patience, prayers, and unwavering support for this administration. I use this opportunity to reaffirm my commitment to serving you with the utmost diligence and dedication. With Allah's grace, Zamfa State shall indeed be rescued. On this note, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, I have the pleasure to present the appropriation bill for the year 2024 to the tune of $423 and 23 billion 522 million 730,000 for your consideration and passage into law. The estimate is made up of 118 billion 134 million 730 for recurrent expenditure and 305 billion 389 million for capital expenditure finally i thank you very much for your attention may almighty allah bless and guide you in your deliberations Thank you for listening. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Honorable Speaker, members of the State Assembly, the clerk, Invited guests, distinguished members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Alhamdulillah, Commander Akasani, Yo, Awana Rana, me Albarka, Awana Chamba, me Albarka, Nas Agabanku, then Meek Amoku, one of Kundin's Ali. Nakasa Pimkuti, known as Shekara Tamu, the Kishugoa, the Bubu, the Ashran the Hudu, the Ekon Allah. Commander Kasani, by a Munga Shona Maliki, Munsa Mosaloli, the Ewa, a match King Ekon Allah, the Ewa Su, Mumfus Kanchesu, Kuma. The Yawan Su, Munkao Kashan Su, one who ever hurry in Zumanaka. It has one temple temple, Aluma Jazz and Fara, Muntaka or Gani, the temple in Chiwa, Alaba Mun and Nasara, Makarepuan and Muliki, Savaraka, Abu Namiki, Munai, and Kao Chi, Gabang Aluma Jazz and Fara. Commander Kasani, I want to follow the case of Mushini Magana Saru. Wanda Alhamdulillahi Mana Kay Kuma Mana Sam and Nasarori. I want to know. Nebu one day came my Himanchi as a Roshini Magana Ilimi. Wanda I want to budget Namu Munzona Munis Alas Ali Kuma. Mont Ara Casapim Kui, Mas Imbinyawa, Wanda de Kauchi, Gavan Ilimi, Galumaja Zampara, Baki there, Nishala. Sir Mirens Aras Aran, the Mokei, Natapat in Chewa, Muma Munshi gets King Yangua, Ezamantu Chewa, Babam Bin Ninja, Wanda do one day is over, Bose Alpha Hidishi. Manam Mane Mashi Gare Gare, Wanda Kuma in Mungama, Kumakoka from Gama, 
a sauran kanana hukumi za a yi irin wannan ayyuka a cikin wannan kasafin kudi mun ba kiwon lafiya muhimmanci kware da gaske saboda sai da lafiya ake kobi saboda haka dukkan asibitocin mu da ke kananan hukumomi za mu fadada su kuma za mu inganta su da ikon Allah abu wanda ka sani namu shine akan cewa mu manoma ne kuma abin da muke alfahari da shi kenan saboda ka ta farkin noma nan ma akwai tsare tsare da muka yi a wannan kasafin kudi wanda za mu san hanyoyi da za mu taimaka ma manoman mu dan inganta abinci ba kuma wadanci ba a har wajen kasuwanci da yi ku Allah saboda haka akwai ayyuka daban-daban da tsare tsare da muka zo wanda zai taba ko ina a cikin kanana hukumin mu 14 da ikon Allah saboda haka kamar yadda ka sani kusan bajet din da muka yi shine mun kasashe kashi 70 zai je wajen ayyuka ne kashi 30 shine muka bari domin biyan albashi da maka mutan su wasu yan gyara gyara da zafi saboda din muhimmancin da muka ba wannan wajen muna roƙon Allah madaukin sarki ya ba mu iko da dama a cikin wannan alƙawari da muka yi ma al'umma jihar zamfara kullum zamfara muke kwana da zamfara muke tashi da saboda haka ba za mu gaji ba ba kuma za mu bacci ba sai mun tabbatar da ikon Allah alƙawarin da muka yi ma al'umma jihar mun cika musu shi da ikon Allah saboda haka ina ƙara godiya ga wannan babban chamba tun daga speaker da sauran membobi da suke wakiltan al'umma a kananan hukumar 14 da ke wannan jaha irin bisa ga hadin kai da suke ba mu na tafiyar da al'amuran jihar zamfara ina godiya kware da gaske kuma ina ƙara roƙo gare ku a ci gaba da ba mu wannan gudunmuwa da goyen baya da muke samu dan duk abin da muke yi ba muna yi dan kan mu bane muna yi ne domin al'umma jihar zamfara dan muka musu sauki da ikon Allah saboda haka muna godiya ga wannan dama da aka ba mu Allah ya kawo shiga cikin wannan al'amari namu assalamu alaikum Thank you very much your excellency my colleagues your honorable members his excellency has presented the 2024 budget estimate before the honorable house which marks the first reading of the 2024 appropriation law by virtue 
of the prohibition of other work. Rule 3 sub 1 of the Zamfara State Standing Order 2012 as amended. Your Excellency, after making my presentation, on behalf of the State Legislature, I will want to take your kind indulgence of His Excellency to please wait and witness the remaining house proceeding toward giving the appropriation bill it is second reading. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor, Dr. Alon, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Malam Mani, Malam Mumuni, Masama Modi, distinguished family members, the Chief George and Honorable Grand Cardi, the chairman of our great party, the PDP, secretary to the state government, the head of service, the emirs, our royal fathers, the state commissioner of police, director DSS, the commissioners and the special advisors, the Permanent Secretary and Directors General, Local Government Soul Administrators, Head of Federal and State Extra Ministerial Department, other security agencies, the team and supporters of this administration, the press distinguished Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, may His peace and blessing be upon our noble Prophet Muhammad bin Abdullah, his household, his companion, and all those who follow his teaching to the day of judgment. It is with great pleasure and thanks to Almighty Allah that we welcome His Excellency, the Governor of Zampara State, Dr. Adod Alon, and his team to this Honorable House for the presentation of 2024 budget. On behalf of entire Honorable Members, let me use this medium once again Condole His Excellency and sympathize with the victim of the recent Ambandic attack in Zulmi, Maru, and other parts of the state. May the souls of those who lost their life rest in peace. Distinguished Honorable Members, we are today witnessing one of the most important activities in the legislature's process. It is the presentation of the annual budget, and as a maiden budget presentation by His Excellency, Dr. Doda Alon. So also, it is the first time I am receiving as the head of the legislative arms of the state. Going by the content of the budget, it is centered toward attaining the risk mission and the six-point agenda of this administration under the leadership of Governor Dodd alone. As such, the House will do the needful to ensure the passage of the budget so as to enable His Excellency to continue with the good work that he has started 
for the betterment of the state. Your Excellency, distinguished colleagues, it is worthy to know that the strategic for the achieving any budget must be aligned with the threat of the internally generated revenue of the particular state or nation. The State Assembly has a great concern for the stagnant nature of the state revenue profile. In this regard, the House has already mapped out strategic activities that will ensure check and balance in all the revenue generating agencies. This derive was proposed by the growing concern on how some revenue generating agencies operate with the lazy and irregularities. While focusing on this area, I'm appealing to former members of the media, civil society organization, general public, and other stakeholders to give us their support in order to achieve the most desired result of improving our economic status through other means rather than oil. This, I believe, will bring about the change we need and the state of our collective dream. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me use the medium to inform you that the House is working towards setting a legislative agenda that will guide its operation for a four years term. This is simply to minimize unnecessary inhibition that may arise from time to time. The brief review of the previous budget through oversight function conducted by various committees has clearly given us a direction on how to best work along with the other arms of government and change the narratives. On our security situation of the state, which is part of the six-point agenda of this administration, I want to commend His Excellency for the recruitment of 4,300 community protection guards to support the conventional security in addressing the menace. I hope the general public will give them all the necessary support at all times. Distinguished colleagues, His Excellency has presented a budget of $423,523,730,000 naira for the fiscal year 2024, which capital expenditure taking the highest amount. This shows the seriousness and the intention of this administration for a better socio-economic development that will rescue and restore the glory of the state. As the lawmakers, therefore, we want to assure His Excellency that we will follow all the legislative process and the first it into the law within the shortest possible time for implementation. Finally, I want to thank the good people of Zampara State for their trust and the confidence of to this administration. We'll do everything possible to ensure your safety and the well-being, inshallah. Thank you for listening. Honorable members, due to His Excellency very tight schedule, it is your wish that we give the bill, that we, be, we give the appropriation bill, it is uh, second reading. Those in support the motion say aye. Those against any, the ayes have it. Please, Mr. Clark, give the bill in second reading.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Your Excellencies the Governor and Deputy Governor of Zambra State Mr. Speaker, sir, Honorable Members This bill is for a law to provide for the issue and appropriation from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of Zambra State the sum of four hundred and twenty three billion five hundred and twenty three million seven hundred and thirty thousand naira only second reading hello to provide for the issue and appropriation from the consolidated revenue fund of Zampara State the sum of four four hundred and thirty three billion three hundred and uh, uh, five hundred and twenty three million seven hundred and thirty thousand naira was given it is second reason. Members, uh, which committee do you refer the law to? Or will make a language? Speaker, sir, Excellency, the first governor and the future governor, uh, committing the Ekamata of our Naikishin budget under appropriation. Finance and appropriation. Any other? Yes. And what time duration? By the, thank you very much by the contribution of this honorable house uh, it is the wish of this honorable house to give the committee concern a maximum of one week to report their finding those in support the motion say aye those against say nay the ayes have it all members this house is adjourned accordingly. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Uh, my, uh, let me call our horrible Bashar Ali Ugumi to lead us with a closing prayer, please. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلوا على النبي الكريم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على آل إبراهيم إنك مجيد الله من أبودي يا قريكا دكك الدريش وبابو جابور ميازو يا جبات الدوان كسفي لا فيا كما يا كاري لا فيا من أباتن الهير عندك يشكون ونا كسبين كتير الله يسعد الدشيق على أمة جهاز زمبارة دا جهاز زمبارة كبعد يا الله يسعي الهير دا البركة أشكون ونا قمنا شيء الله يباش يا جبان نمو إيكو يمنا عادل شيء مكو الله يبام إيكو يمس بيعيا شرن شيء دند تلالا بيا الله يكاري الله ينونا مس ديدي يباس إيكو أي كتاوا سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله
Excellency, Dr. Doda Lawal, is sitting at what is Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Bilaminu Ismail Moriki. Greeting our royal fathers, custodians of Islamic norms and value, led by the Emir of Zampara and Chairman Zampara State Council of Chiefs, Alaji Atahiru Muhammad Ahmad, CON. Shaking hand with the Deputy Speaker, Alaji Honorable Adamu Ali Ubumi, Honorable Nasur Abdullah Maru, Honorable Yakuba Al Majir Gamjin Bela, Honorable Bashir Bello Sarkin Zambo, Honorable Deluanu Muhammad Marafana Gambo, Honorable Nura Nairu Sabon Pini, Honorable Nasir Mukhtar Jika Shurra. Honorable Suma mona ima su baraka da zuwa